Hi and welcome to the 3 survey software training. So when you're at this training part it means that you've already measured all the field work, you've done it and you're now ready for your computer part of the work. The first thing you need to do is to download your aerial images taken by your drone onto your computer and then as well as your GPS points. So let's look at this example. In this folder I've created an image folder where all my images are located. I've also created my checkpoint folder which I've just extracted separately from my control points. So over here you'll see these are my control points, my GCP points. There they are listed, GCP is 1 to 7 and then my checkpoints is loaded in separately. The reason for this is once you import your GCP points and you have not split your data, your checkpoints will be loaded with your GCPs and uh, that will cause some, some confusion on your side. So the best is just to load your control, your GCP separately from your checkpoints. All right, so let's go and select our images. Just close this. I'll go to new project. I'll click on the first one, I'll press shift, click on the last one. Now you can see all the images are highlighted and now I can press on open. Alright, the first image will automatically be displayed here. Now let's go through what this section is all about. It asks you do you want to import the telemetry of the photos. So this is an important part if you've flown a drone. So I'll just click on my drop down menu and I'll say the telemetry is part of the EXIF data. So that means that the coordinates or the lat long coordinates which was taken with the photo, the, the geotagging of the image is stored in the EXIF data. Alright, so I'll make sure to always select the, the EXIF data if I'm using a Phantom 4, a Mavic 2, a normal Mavic, um, drones like those. And... Uh, if I'm using any different model like that makes use of a hot shoe adapter, I'll make sure to select that as well. Just know that you won't have any telemetry data to import if you're using an example, a Matrice 600, a Matrice 1000, um, one of your, some of your bigger drones that makes you use of a hot shoe adapter. Not all of them do record a GPS position into the uh, EXIF data or into the image. So you have to import that manually um, as separate telemetry. So, but normally with a DJI Phantom 4, for example, it stores the geotag image location with the image. So that's why we do it this way. And then I'll just say import that data. So I can see that it says my data was imported successfully and that makes me happy. So I click on OK. Over here I can see my coordinates and that is fine with me. And I'll say close. Also, um, over here you'll see that it assumes a normal or a custom focal length. So once you have processed all your data for the first time, your focal length and uh, all your uh, precisions will be listed here under your optimized. It's important to save this um, as a specific camera set and the next time when you do your processing, you just select this specific camera parameters instead of selecting your normal EXIF data. All right, and this will make, you'll see later on, there will be a 5% uh, focal le uh, length error. That's just under your bundle adjustment because it has not fine-tuned your, your data set. Uh, that's not a problem, so don't be worried or concerned about it. It's just to not have that message again um, and also to optimize the software. Just make sure to come back to this section and make sure to store your, your focal length values uh, for the next project. All right. So going back to the images, uh, over here you'll see that the, my images are loaded with uh, coordinates. All right, there's no error yet uh, indicated because none processing has happened yet. And over here there you'll see that there's no GCPs listed as well. 